luthier is actually an old French term going back about 500 years. It uh, is rooted in lute maker. You've noticed there's probably not a lot of lute players these days. Over the, the years, the, the term has kind of become something quite different. It's expanded to encompass guitars and mandolins and such, so uh, bowed instruments and plucked instruments. A luthier today will focus generally on one skill set or the other, either the bowed side of things, the cellos and violins, or the guitars and mandolins and ukes and, and banjos. There's a lot to learn, so it's better to focus on one or the other skill set. We focus in on the guitars and the pluck side of things. I fell in love with the guitar itself. When I was very young, about 13, I started playing. I was fortunate to see Jimi Hendrix in, in concert. At a young age, I was able to apprentice with somebody that had moved to San Diego from Pennsylvania. We had a little company called Martin. By the time I was 18, I had worked at Taylor Guitars. Shortly after that, uh, at Alembic Guitars. So I've really, really been doing this for about 40 years, and uh, I don't see slowing down anytime soon. Uh, the extended crew, we have uh, John Corbin and Mike Molesky, also uh, Dwayne Konzerski. These guys bring a lot of different skills to the table from electronics and uh, CNC design and as well as uh, metal design and template making. Recently, in the last couple of years, we started to make electric guitars, and so that's very exciting. The T35 is one of our electric guitar projects that we have um, been developing for about a year and a half to two years. And as I mentioned before, John and Dwayne and Mike Molesky, uh, they are deeply involved with this. The T35 is really a chambered, solid body guitar that produces tones that are very unique. Uh, matter of fact, you get tones similar to a Les Paul or a Telecaster or a Stratocaster. You can play jazz, rock and roll, any type of music. And you know, most of the people that are buying these will say that they are bringing one guitar to a gig now because the, the tone is, is so unique and there's such a spectrum of sound that, that comes from this. We all share the passion of guitar building and uh, we're, I guess we're all kind of guitar junkies.